My name is Miranda Kunk. I am a junior from Nacogdoches, Texas. I was attracted to Bellhaven because of the Christian worldview. That was just such an important factor to me to go to any school that I would have that as a foundation. I came to Bellhaven because of the violin teacher, Mr. Song. The way he taught with the Christian worldview being the basis is such a unique teacher to have because he really came at it from this perspective of encouraging and nurturing and had this positivity that you can't find that someplace else that doesn't have the Christian worldview. And so I just, when I came and I visited, I felt like Bellhaven had to be the place for me. My journey with the violin has been one where I really questioned whether or not I could do it because it's so difficult. You have to have such precise intonation and there are so many great musicians out there. I wondered, is this my calling? But when I came to Bellhaven and Mr. Song took me as a terrified little freshman with horrible intonation and brought me up to playing full violin concertos and being able to play in the Mississippi Symphony Orchestra. There's just a gift that he has for bringing people from the place that they are and then taking them to a place that you never thought you could go to. Oxford University was a dream that I never thought would really come to fruition. I never imagined that I would be able to study at the same library that C.S. Lewis studied at. It blew my mind the way that they do life over there. They have such an appreciation for the old, for wisdom, for truth and beauty. And, and to be over there and to have those desires in my heart and then to be appreciated as that person who loves classical music, who loves to work hard and the attention to detail, it was such an, a wonderful experience and it also opened my mind to many, many different types of worldviews, whether that was religious or even just a completely different cultural worldview. In England, they have had such a difficult time with the church and the state being combined together. It was very difficult spiritually to relate to people and I think that whole experience just really helps me come back and recognize the importance of speaking truth and being academically excellent in a non-Christian secular environment. But I loved Oxford. I was able to study C.S. Lewis. I studied the philosophy of religion during the Enlightenment with believers and non-believers. So having to talk about religion in those circumstances, you really have to put the gospel in a very strong way and not back down when someone questions you about it. So. I came from a private school that taught from the Christian curriculum as well, so coming to Bellhaven wasn't a stark contrast, but being pre prepared and understanding um, how to look at literature from a Christian worldview and how to express your beliefs in a way that doesn't put down the person next to you who doesn't believe it, that's such an important part to being able to interact with people in that secular culture. And so I definitely believe that Bellhaven equipped me, especially Dr. Melissa Haas, just her attention to detail. I wouldn't be able to go to Oxford without her. And so I really think that that Christian program, but also the influence of those professors who really, really push the students to have excellence in those areas, I think that really changed me and prepared me for Oxford in a way that most other students didn't have that capability. If you're thinking about studying abroad, I would absolutely say do it. There is no experience like taking yourself outside of the culture that you're used to, the people, the food that you all like, and going to a completely different culture where they're gonna approach classes differently, they're going to approach food and lifestyle differently. Um, when I was in Oxford, you bike everywhere. And just having that experience of biking alongside some of the greatest thinkers in the world is very, very humbling and terrifying as you nearly die by a bus. And so it's just one of those things that you have to be able to go outside of yourself to meet people from where they're coming from. And studying abroad really equips you to be able to think outside of your own pride in the way that you're thinking. I think that can happen so often that you're processing your life in such a way that you don't recognize that you have certain beliefs that aren't founded in any reasoning. It's just an assumption. So going outside and doing the study abroad can be such a gift to be able to reach other people from different cultures and spreading the gospel in that way.